Thank you so much, Kyle, for being here. I'm really excited to be speaking with you. You want to just tell us how, like, I know you've created this method, I guess. I don't know what the right word would be is um, of like making your life better on every single aspect in less than an hour every day. What, where did you get that idea to actually create this sort of method? Yeah, sure. Well, thank, thanks for having me, ST. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, yeah. So when, when I, when I talk about, you know, you mentioned improving someone's life in less than an hour, I mean, it definitely, you know, it sounds kind of hyperbolic, um, but just to give you some quick background. So I've spent, um, really a good chunk of my life, probably two decades or more, as a uh, personal trainer um, for a period of that two decades, about eight years, I owned and operated two brick and mortar personal training studios. And our clientele at those studios, uh, the, these by and large, our clients were above average income earners, uh, successful entrepreneurs, successful business people, um, in some cases, very successful. And, you know, they were coming into my studios, you know, ostensibly to deal with a, a physical issue they were having. Um, you know, whether that was losing weight, getting stronger, um, getting on a healthy routine, eating better, so on and so forth. But over time, the, 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 the more consultations, the more often I would consult with these people, more and more issues were kind of coming into focus. And by that, I mean, you know, I would be consulting with them in our office and nine times out of 10, the physical issues that they were having were impacting other areas of their lives as well. Um, you know, their, their mental health, um, their emotional health, and in some cases, their financial health as well. So, you know, to, to answer your question, I just, I, I took those experiences and really my own personal experiences. And I thought to myself, you know, how, well, let me back up. So during that time I owned those studios and I was consulting with these folks it 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 dawned on me that like there were three really main areas of stress not only for these people but probably for most people and that is addressing physical health emotional health and financial health as well so i started to think of these three things as like these big three pillars of stress. Um, and that's what I kind of thought of them in, in my own head. And I thought, you know, these are the three things that really cause people the most stress in their lives. If I can take what I learned owning my two personal training studios, along with what I experienced myself in my own life, how can I help people? How can I come up with a routine to really help people, honestly, in less than an hour a day, deal with these three issues? What made you decide that it's important for it to be a routine versus like, try these three things every day, but make it into a routine? Yeah, well, you know, I personally, I'm I'm a, a pretty routine. I, I like routine. I, I tend to like structure. Uh, and certainly over the past few years with the pandemic, 
I think it's pretty safe to say that a lot of people have been thrown out of their routines. Um, and the truth is, I mean, there's been a ton of research done on the benefits of establishing a healthy routine um, and integrating a healthy routine. So that that's that's really kind of the genesis. It's like, how can I put, how can I take these three big areas of stress for people and and attack them, if you will, in a in a you know, again, it sounds kind of hyperbolic, but in less than an hour a day, but you can't actually do it. You, you can't actually address these three major issues in less than an hour a day. And really anybody can do it regardless of a work is schedule there, or anything like that. Before so. we like get into what it actually is, I, I'm curious if there is an actual benefit in it being a specific routine versus let's say someone saying like, okay, I have 20 minutes in the morning and like I could do the rest of it at night, right? Like, or does it specifically have to be in the full routine? Oh yeah. Okay. I, I see what you're saying. So uh, to answer your question, no. Um, so w what I've, what the book kind of outlines is it's, it's based on, and the way I break down the 50 minutes is 30 minutes of physical exercise. Okay. Which I, everybody is very familiar with probably familiar with the benefits of regular physical exercise, right? I don't even think we need to discuss that. Um, um, 10 minutes of, uh, in terms of addressing, so the, the physical exercise addresses obviously that physical component, right? 10 minutes of deep breathing specifically diaphragmatic deep breathing to address emotional health and dealing with emotional stress. Um, most people have also heard about the benefits, right, of deep breathing, meditation. Is there a specific, like, pattern or way that you, like, say is the best way to do the deep breathing? Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of different uh, diaphragmatic deep breathing intervals out there. Um, you know, in terms of time intervals, there's a five, 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 meaning inhale for five seconds, hold for five seconds, exhale for five seconds. And the truth of the matter is deep breathing is something I myself really only started a few years ago. Um, and I wish I would have started it a lot sooner because it's for what it's done for me personally, in terms of my stress levels, I tend to be like a type A, um, it has been really massive for me. Um, so that kind of we have the exercise, we have deep breathing and right. third is thirdly, and, and it's, it's really, you know, when you think about physical exercise, and um, emotional health, physical health and emotional health, a lot of people can see the connection between those two things, right? I mean, th those two kind of go- Whether we want to admit it or not, most of us know Correct. it's true. <laughs> Absolutely, right? So, but, you know, there's also this other element and it's financial health, okay? so. That's the other pillar of stress for people is their financial well-being. Um, I mean, certainly over the past few years, and, and with everything that they're talking about, who you know, there it's a little bit of a unsettled economy right now. Everybody's talking recession. Who knows what's going to happen? So, um, in terms of being able to address financial health. The one thing that everybody can do is budget. Work on a personal budget. 
And again, it's not rocket science. Most people have heard about the benefits of budgeting. Um, so is there something specific but, to do in those 10 minutes? Like in terms regarding, of budgeting? Yeah, regarding the budgeting, or is it just whatever is best for you? Yeah, so, well, what, what I kind of prescribe in the book um, is taking some time to develop a monthly budget, looking at your expenses, and w what I like to, to say is, based on your income, every dollar that you earn really should have a job. It should go somewhere. There are lots of different budgeting. Um, there are lots of different ways you can budget. There's a zero-based budget. There's um, there's so many different ways you can kind of apply budgeting principles. But so what I talk about is developing a monthly budget and the 10 minutes daily simply means looking at your bank account twice a day, once in the morning, maybe once in the evening, and making sure that your checking account and everything that's going on in your checking account is jiving with that monthly budget. Right. So the 50 minutes is split, I see, from morning and night. Yes. And and to answer your question, you mentioned, I think you asked me your original question. I think you were sort of in, implying, you know, can it be broken up or do right. you have to do this all in one? No, you don't. Right. Um, and what I, what I kind of outline in the book are different plans for people who have different work schedules, first shift, second shift, third shift. You can break all of this up. You can do the 30 minutes of physical exercise whenever you want. You can do the 10 minutes of deep breathing whenever you want. You can log into your checking account and kind of compare your checking account with your monthly budget whenever you want. Just do it on a daily basis. So the whole... The whole idea behind the book was to give people the ability, the plan, a simple plan to help them get more control, help them feel like they are more in control of these three massive things, right? Addressing Technically, their there are things that like we all know we should be doing anyways. Like Everyone knows we need to be doing exercises, but by putting it so cool in this framework, then it makes it easier to make sure that we're hitting on all the important aspects of our lives. I, I believe so. And again, the reason I wrote the book was, you know, I kind of asked myself the question and I, you, maybe you've been asked the question, maybe your listeners have been asked the question. If you could have one thing or more of one thing in your life, what would that be? So if somebody were to ask me that question, right? A lot of people might say, oh, geez, I want more money, right? I, I, I need more money. Other people might say, I want more time. I want more time in my day. Some people might say, I want more freedom. I want more freedom to do the things I want to do. Well, in my opinion, I think really what the majority of people want is more control. Well, they're all right? control in different ways, right? One's control on money, one's control on time, one's control, one's control on freedom. But but it's that constant theme that runs through each of those, right? I want to have better health meaning i want more control over my physical health i want to be able to deal with my emotions better i want to reduce stress more control so what people really want more control over my money 
So how do you do with their mind? I I think it's actually like a really good thing. What like makes us a human versus just like an animal by like, instead of just going by our instincts and like, right. I don't have patients doing exercise now. I'm too tired. So I'm not going to versus like, I'm going to do like mind over matter sort of thing and actually being in control and just choosing what you are going to do in this moment. Right. And, you know, again, these three things, they're, they're huge issues. I think everybody can agree they're huge issues, right? Getting in better better shape physically, um, feeling better emotionally, and feeling better financially. These are three really big issues. So my thought was, okay, how can I how can I give people again taking what I learned from owning the businesses and in my own experience. How can I give people a plan that they can use every day to just help them feel a little bit better about all three of these things? Does that make sense? Yeah. What 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 do you find now that you've created this plan, you've created this book? What do you find is the biggest challenge? Either which area, and more specifically, not which area, but like why do you think people struggle with doing the plan that you've told them? What's the hardest part of it? Yeah, I. So it all comes back to this: the, the the idea of establishing a healthy routine. Um, I I think a lot of for a lot of people, it just maybe they've tried, right? They've tried to work out right on a regular basis, and for whatever reason, they've not been able to, to do it. Um, you know, they've tried, maybe they've tried budgeting before, but they've, well, for whatever reason, uh, it's not for me, I can't do it, you know. So the, the biggest hurdle, I think, for most people in establishing and integrating a healthy routine is A, finding, well, I, I, I think the first step is convincing themselves that they're they they can do this even though maybe they've tried in the past that you know they can do this they can improve in these three areas um because i think most people they kind of make up in their heads why they can't do something or why they're going to fail right out of the gate so i i think it's one having the belief that you you can improve these three things everybody can oh yeah improve Growth these three or things. fixed mindset yeah absolutely and secondly finding a plan that actually works finding a a, a simple plan that they can use and that they can do you know everybody's busy right? everybody's busy everybody's going non-stop from you know all day but i i believe that the plan i put that i kind of designed in the book anybody can do it and i'm convinced that anybody can do it and i will argue with anybody that they can do this if they just try, if they can get over those, their own mental hurdles in, in their own heads. So, right. Yeah. I think there's two things. There's like, as Henry Ford says, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Um, but yeah. also it's about like, you said like, there's like different plans in it based on your life and your day. I think it's about like working with your brain instead of trying to fight it. Right. Sometimes we like, try to do these methods that don't work for us because they're based on whoever created the method. But if the method is like malleable where it could form and work it for your life, then it will be a lot easier. Awesome. So do you want to tell us um, where we could get the book and where we can find you? Yeah. So um, the book is on Amazon. Um, I launched it really in earnest at the beginning of the year. Um, so it is available on Amazon. People can either search my name, first name, last name, or they can search the, there's a shameless plug for the book. 
they can search mind body and money um or they can go to my website which is just my name with a hyphen in between it so kyle-nickel.com awesome thank you yeah. so much kyle it was great chatting with you today absolutely thank you